Hello, this is a small tutorial how to use Vanilla Daisy Script Pro version for in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, what's the type? Vanilla Daisy. Let me type once again. As you can see automatic replace to make I create two methods for how to access alternate in vanilla daisy the first method is using the open type panel if you can see you can show in the window type open type okay okay there are x icon and here there is a contextual alternates standard ligatures contextual swatches contextual alternates Oh, sorry, contextual stylistic alternates and titling alternates. I will change. You can do it. Uh, just click the button to show to see uh, stylistic number four. Stylistic number three. Just press the button. Context uh, stylistic alternates and the tightening alternates okay uh, I don't recommend that you just only use this for wording you can mix and match by selecting the letter first and then click these icons or this are this okay and the titling alternates this okay it looks more nice with the combination for words of daisy uh, in the second method <coughs> I will use the glyphs panel for changing the alternate character if you can see the glyphs panel back to window type and see the glyphs Okay, I will. I want to change the A in the glyphs. The default is the entire font. As you can see, it's so many glyphs, and you will confusing for mm, choosing one of them but i recommend that you using the alternates for current selection yes it shows only the letter that you select uh, okay this for the last letter or if you want to see the every uh, stylistic you can see in here for stylistic number one, two, number three, number four, number five, till the titling. Titling. Okay. Uh, yep. You can mix and match the vanilla DC for your projects. Hope you enjoy. Um, uh,
oh, once again, I forgot that I have how to access the alternate with using outside of Adobe Illustrator. Okay, uh, I will install it first. Um, and I will delete the final AC Pro from my computer for my computer is only vanilla daisy pro okay non pro let's use the true type panel I will show you how it works in Adobe Photoshop that the Adobe Photoshop doesn't have a clip panel okay I separate the every alternate into one into single fonts. As you can see, I have the stylistic number zero for the normal. Zero for the normal. Stastic one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I will change it to the three and G with this H with this okay done I think every application that doesn't have open type features in their apps you can use the vanilla daisy TTF files for accessing the alternate character hope you enjoy my bonds thank you very much